One of the most frequently asked questions I get is about Tesla's autopilot. So after you take delivery of your car, you can enable autopilot, but there's some things you have to acknowledge. This is traffic aware cruise control. I think we're all familiar with keeping you at that pre speed, but this is where Tesla really gets uh, set apart to the auto steer. So I'm not going to read all of this to you, but it's basically but the steering and the braking accelerating is all happening for you and you must be ready to intervene if you have to click yes to acknowledge now some of the biggest questions do i have to pay attention we just said yes what happens if i don't pay attention well if you're not paying attention to the screen and you do that five times then you're no longer going to operate autopilot how long does this last it lasts for a week so in the event that you have five strikes, you literally will be banned from using autopilot for a week and then it'll reset. You'll have five more chances after that. So what you want to do is enable autopilot in your car with these. This uh, press down once and that'll activate it or twice depending on what setting you choose there. Um, other questions about autopilot. Uh, it does not change lanes. That's a full self-driving. So let me go into software. I can go down here and I don't know if it's on this one. I think I disabled it, but basically you can download full self-driving. Let's see here if I can find it. So I don't see it. I have basic autopilot is what I just said. It happens for you. I believe, let me see if I can find it. So I can buy full self-driving. I disabled these because I don't want people accidentally downloading and buying software on my car. But essentially what that will do is allow you to purchase full self-driving. So we can just go back to software because I have basic autopilot. If I bought full self-driving, then that is the one that changes lanes for you. That and exit ramps on the highway so that's really one of the biggest questions what's the difference between auto steer or basic autopilot and full self-driving well this will keep you in a single lane it won't change lanes for you or anything like that so other questions that you have put them down below this is completely free whereas that full self-driving currently is 99 dollars a month what do you think